In this video, I will show you how to do regression testing with 360 Bind. You can compare Webby, Crystal, and Analysis for Office documents with 360 Bind. These comparisons can be done between versions of business objects, between environments, or within the same environment before and after a change. I'm going to compare a set of documents that are pointing to two different databases. So I am doing a migration from Oracle to Snowflake and I want to compare, so I have a set of, of Webby documents pointing to Oracle and another set pointing to Snowflake. I'm going to compare the two and see if there are any differences. So first I'm going to log into 360 and I'm going to go to Tasks and Regression Testing Export and create a new task. Okay, so my first set of, so first I'm going to schedule the documents for, that are pointing to Oracle. Um, so I'm giving them a title, I'll just call them Oracle, and then I'm going to click Next in the bottom right corner. Frequency, I'm going to run this now, but this can be run at another time, so if you select once, you can schedule it for a later date or time. I'll just click Next. Here's where you select your document, so you can search by folder name or by document name. I have a folder that has all my documents, so I'm going to search by folder name. And then I just add the documents that I want to include. So I've got three documents I want to include. Click Next. And then here I'm going to select my project. So these projects would be created for you, um, and you select your project. This is a way of grouping your um, your comparison tasks, and then the category is another level of grouping. Um, mine's DB migration. I could click on add new category and create a new one if I wanted to. So now I have my format options. So I'm comparing Webby reports. So the two options I would select um, are either paginated XML or XML. XML is the best way to compare Webby reports. Paginated XML is beneficial if you have large documents. So when Bind is, is loading the documents. When the comparison is displayed, it loads the entire document. If you have a 50 meg document, the browser might time out. It's not going to be able to handle that. The way to, the way to avoid any of those issues is to select paginated XML. That will load one page at a time, so you can easily load large documents because um, it's page by page. Um, or you can select XML. Um, Excel is used for crystal documents, so that's how you compare crystal, crystal documents. I'm going to select paginated XML, and then I have another option, page setup. So this is beneficial if you have documents that maybe um, have you know, 20, 25 columns. You've got, you scroll to the right, you've got a lot of columns. These documents are designed to be exported to Excel. Um, you might want to select one of these other um, page setup options and what that's going to do is instead of cutting off the document um, you know in at column 8 it's going to display the entire document and I'll show you what I'm referring to so just here's an example of I have this webby document it's formatted for A0 um, this this is not if I exported this to PDF it would cut off you know probably here um, this is um, formatted to be exported to Excel, and I can scroll to the right to see all the columns. So those are the kind of documents you'd want to select that for. Um, so if you aren't sure, you can certainly select it. If you aren't sure, you can select that option. Uh, I'm just going to select A A4 because the ones in my um, comparison aren't aren't set up that way. Um, but that's an option there. The only other option I usually recommend here is the keep generated instances. So by default when the instance is scheduled um, the, the instance is not saved in history. If you want it saved in history then check keep generated instances. I'm going to uncheck that. Then click next. So prompts. Um, so I have two options here. I can provide the prompt values here or I can check bulk set prompts and click on this Excel icon and this is going to export my document and all the prompts that are in the document. Um, so prompt enabled, so this one, these are global, so these are, um, if you've got, I've selected three documents, these are the all the prompts across my documents. You can actually populate the prompts once and that'll apply for all the documents. So if there are any common ones across those, that's that's helpful. 
if I go to the Documents tab, you'll see um, the document name, um, the path, and then the prompt. Um, so I have some prompt values that are already populated, uh, so they're saved in the document, so you'll see those there. The rest of these are optional, so I don't need to provide these. But if I wanted to, I could I could come in here, you know, select, um, you know, enter the values, save that. Okay, and then I would just upload the file and provide the prompts that way. Um, I already have my prompt set, so I'm not going to do that, but that is an option that'll be helpful if you've got, say you have 50 documents in your task um, and you're not really sure of the values, you could send it to the user or if somebody else knows the values, um, that could easily be extracted from business objects. Okay, so I'm going to click Next and then Filters. If you want to filter the data further, you can select Filters. Input controls, if you have any input controls, you can also um, select those. I'm just going to click Next. Reports to exclude. Um, so maybe I selected one folder that had 25 documents and I wanted to exclude some. I could um, specify which reports I wanted to exclude. And um, here, are the, you know, here are the documents. I want to include all of them, but that's an option as well. Um, I'm going to click Next. I could set up notifications so I'm emailed when the task is done. I'm going to skip that step, click Next, skip trigger events, and confirmation. So my, now my task is in the pending tab, then it shifts over to the running tab when it's running, and then once it's finished it'll be in the finish tab. So that's my Oracle task. Now I'm going to schedule the Snowflake task. So these are the documents pointing to Snowflake. Okay, give the task a title, click Next. Frequency, again, I'm going to just run it now, click Next. Documents, so I have a folder called Snowflake. Okay, and I'm going to add the same three documents. They're, they're in a different folder, but they're similar documents, just pointing to a different database. Click Next. And I'm going to select that same project and the same category. So this is important. That's how Vine knows which documents you want to compare. And then also the same export format as well. So paginated and A4 is what I'm going to select here. If you had selected A0, you'd want to select that um, as well. Click Next. Okay, and here again I have the bulk set prompts option or I just I'm going to use the, the defaults there for um, for my prompts click next filters I don't have any filters click next uh, no input controls click next nothing to exclude next next okay so I'm just gonna click next through here and then click add so now my snowflake task is running so Oracle this one finished and on um, just need to wait on the Snowflake task. Once that's finished, I'll be able to do the comparison. Okay, so now my Snowflake task, so I have my successful Snowflake task, successful Oracle task, so I'm going to compare these tasks now. So to do the comparison, I go to Tasks and Regression Testing Comparison, and click on New Task. Okay, I give the task a title, click Next. Frequency, I'm going to run that now, I'll click Next. Selection, so this is where I select that category. So this is my project, Pauline Demo, and the category, export format, paginated XML, and I'm going to select the latest two exports. I just ran them, so I know those are the last two exports. Um, you can also select two exports, so you'll get a list of all the exports in that category. Um, but I'm just going to select the last two exports and then click Next. So binding. So this is how the reports match up. So um, are they the same CUID? In my case they're not. Are they the same name? In my case they actually are. Um, or I can do a custom mapping. So in order to do a custom mapping I'll just show you what that looks like. You would just drag these little pill, pill icons to the document. So this is the left side um, has a list of documents and these are the ones in the second reference that I want to compare them to. Um, again, mine have the same name, so name would work for me, but I'm just, I just wanted to show what that custom looks like. So I'm going to click Next. 
and then comparison. So this is what you want to compare. Um, so I typically want to compare the data um, and um, numeric the compare numeric values that's a specific use case ignore white spaces that can you can select that if you have any graphs in your reports you're going to want to select the image comparison and you have an option for which level of comparison I usually select medium um, style that's going to compare any of the fonts so if something's bolded or you have different font styles that will be highlighted if there are any differences different color and fonts uh, structure if there's a different layout of the report that would be highlighted and execution time so execution time is definitely helpful in my um, scenario because I'm doing the uh, Snowflake Oracle migration I want to make sure I'm getting similar performance and this will highlight any differences in performance so that's an option as well so I'm going to click next and then the results so I can send these results to email to my email Okay, give the email a subject. Um, I want to join the comparison, the summary, and the differences. So this will send a document that includes the summary. So everything that was um, compared and the counts um, and the differences there. And then this will give me more of the detail. Um, okay, so I'm going to do always. And then I'm going to click add and then click next so notification is notifying you the task is run um, I'm not going to set that because I'm going to get the the result sent to me and then I'm going to click next and next and then add once I see the confirmation okay so now my comparison is running and similar to the other screen where the exports were run once it's finished it'll show up in the finish tab Okay, so now my task is finished. Uh, so if I right click here, um, the context menu will tell me what my options are. So open will allow me to see that comparison. Um, if I wanted to make any changes, I can click update. If I had any errors, I could display the log to look at what was aired. Um, so right now I'm just gonna select open so that I can see what the comparison looks like. So here I have um, in green it says matching document zero and then non-matching three and then these are the documents I compared so I'm going to click on the first one and um, at the top there if you select that that little icon there that'll um, expand your screen so here I see that um, the sales revenue column is highlighted in that peach color that indicates there's a difference if I click here um, I can see what the difference is so in this case the text color is different so on the left it's black on the right it's red um, and here at the bottom it shows me you know what what the difference is there um, so I had selected style as as a comparison if you don't care about the style then if you don't select that it won't highlight that as a difference um, you know if the data were different that would be highlighted or if the structure were different that would be highlighted um, all these little orange little lines will jump to um, the area in the page that has a difference um, and then down on the bottom right since I'm doing paginated XML um, my differences are page by page um, so only the pages that have differences will be highlighted in that orange um, so page one has differences page three um, so I can skip the pages that don't have any differences jump to five so um, going through that that um, allows you to go one by one um, so I have two tabs in this webby document sales and sales by year both of them are in orange so that means both of them have differences so I go to sales by year um, I'll see those differences as well so similar column differences there the text color and then the graph no, no differences there aren't, there's nothing highlighted there so that looks all the same um, and then I can just toggle back to the next report and then I go go through each of the reports and take a look at the differences if I expand the top here so by clicking here that'll expand and this is where the execution time is different so I had, I had highlighted a threshold of 20% so on the left that one took 15 seconds the one on the right was five seconds um, so I see where those differences are um, and here you look and see it's really just the only the only little line that I see is in the title so different title between those two reports um, I don't really care about that um, 
and so that that's the only page with the difference and then I can look at the last document there and here I have I have more differences um, so it looks like yeah you know, it looks like I've got some some formatting so the width um, is different there um, the width of the columns the width of the header so everything kind of um, is different there and again if you don't care about those things you do not have to compare those maybe you only care about the data um, and then the other options that you have here are um, you can download the comparison documentation so in the top right I've got this Excel icon so that will um, download the comparison documentation this is a summary of what I compared see on the left it'll show the ex compare the execution times um, for each of the documents and then this is more of a summary of the differences and then the other Excel icon that I have this is download the differences documentation so if I click on that this will give me all the differences between the two documents. So here are my differences. So this will tell me um, the cell, um, the row, and then what the difference type is. So height, width, whether it's content, so maybe the data is different. Um, so again, if you're only interested in the data, then you don't need to compare the um, the structure and the style um, but this is highlighting all those differences for you so I had those these both of these were scheduled um, and sent to me by email so when I set up the um, the results um, to be sent by email I will receive that I will also receive this link um, as well so that's how you do comparisons with 360 bind